Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to navigate within a program known as Top Mod by creating an infinite hoop object. Top Mod is an abbreviation for topological mesh modeling. It can be found at code.google.com forward slash p for project forward slash topmod. Downloads are available in the bottom left, or you can go to the Downloads tab, where you'll find previous releases um, and are available in two different formats, ZIP or DMG. We downloaded ZIP for Windows platform. I'm going to launch the program. I could start by creating any one of these various shapes by clicking on one. Um, for this project, we require a cube, so I'm going to click on the cube. And in order to maneuver around the, pr the object, you got to hold down the Alt key as well as the left mouse button to be able to move around the shape. Uh, in order to zoom in and out, do so by holding down the Alt key as well as the right mouse button and zoom in and out, the zoomy zoom. Uh, if you have a wheel on your mouse, you can use that instead. Uh, in order to move side by side, you want to hold down the mouse wheel button as well as the Alt key consecutively. All right. Start by selecting a side or a face of the shape. You can do so by clicking this button here on the top to select faces. Okay, we'll select that. Highlight that side. And we're going to extrude the shape out a bit by selecting a cubicle extrude mode it's over here on the left. That brings up a dialog and. We're going to maintain the length at 2 without a rotation, a scale of 1, and we're going to increase the segments by 1 to 2. I'm going to press Extrude Selected Faces. Okay, that worked. Uh, next thing we want to do is select some edges, so we can do so by pushing this button on the top. Select Edges. I'm going to hold down shift as well as the left mouse button, click and drag, which paints the edges on both sides. Uh, you can do it that way, or you can hold down the shift and click w each one individually. And now we're going to press the delete button on the keyboard. We'll splice that object left with two individual units. After that, I'm going to click on Add Handle or Shape Interpolation, which also selects cornered at the same time. So I'm going to keep the segments at 10 and increase the weight to about 30. And we're going to select a far vertex as well as the vertices closest to us. That one it connects those two faces. We can do the same thing on this side. Go to upper left and the lower right. That completes the form. Um, we can smooth it out a bit by selecting the Windows drop-down menu or the Window drop-down menu. It brings up a number of options here on the right. Uh, we're looking for Do Sabin. Do Sabin. It brings up that dialog. We'll press Perform Remeshing. That increases the quad amount, creating a smoother shape. Okay. Um, we can thin out the shape a bit by selecting Dual. Click that once, click it twice, okay, 
Um, next thing we could do is refine the object a little bit more. So we'll go back to do Sabin. We'll click perform remeshing once again. Now we can toggle the wire framing on the outside by hitting the W key on the keyboard. Okay. Um, let's see. We can add a wire framing effect to the object. And do that. We'll, we'll decrease it down to one. And create wireframe. Uh, one thing to note about this program is it is sensitive, so um, we'd be careful uh, with what options that you choose beca because it can freeze up. So it's important, I guess, to save frequently, especially if you're doing something more extensive. But um, you don't want to just start clicking at random or frantically because it's likely that the program will freeze up. Uh, other than that, I'm ready to export this as an object and import it into another 3D application where I could you know, do various lighting effects or add a texture sur or surface deformation. Or okay. Thanks for watching.